This is the book of Sirach, chapter 27, verse 27, and it reads, He that worketh mischief, it shall fall upon him, and he shall know whence it cometh. Verse 28, Mockery and reproach are from the proud, but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. You haven't seen them? Y'all know what black Israelites are? Okay, some people do, some people don't. I love telling people what black Israelites are. Okay, so listen. Black Israelites is like a group of black people. It's just like six or seven of them. They stand on a corner, right? And they just yell at white people. That's all. And, and they think they're Jewish for some reason. And, it's, and this sounds cool, it's, but it's not. It's not cool at all. This is how it usually works. There's six of them, two of them have megaphones, everyone else is just walking around with picket signs. There's one main dude that's the preacher, okay? He's going to talk about devil white bitch, fuck the white devil. He's, he's just going, like freestyling on white people, right? But that guy sucked. There's another guy though, he has another megaphone, it's smaller. And he's just doing ad libs in the background. That guy fucking rocks. This guy, this guy is just in the background going, talk to him, my brother. Uh, yeah, I can. Go ahead, brother. All right. Tell him. That's my favorite one. Tell him. Tell him. Go ahead, my brother. That's my favorite one. So I was with, I was with my friend. And my friend is Asian. And we're walking down the street. The one, the main preacher, we walk into some black Israelites. The main preacher starts going, I see you with that white bitch, my brother. <laughs> Following yourself with that white devil bitch, my brother. With that white devil milk cricket bitch, my brother. That's hilarious. That's funny. So, so my friend, she's one of those girls that don't understand. You don't argue with crazy people. She's like, I'm not even white. Like, so she goes, she turns and goes, I'm Vietnamese. She goes, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and the alley guy goes, talk to that Chinese white bitch. Y'all seen those black Israelites on 6th Street? If you've never seen the black Israelites, I'm going to tell you how it is. Black Israelites, it's a group of black people, okay? Five or six of them. They just hang out downtown. They're dressed like Ninja Turtles. And they just yell at white people. <laughs> That's all they do. They just crack a hole, just going off on white people for no reason. And they think they're Jewish for some reason. I don't know how that ties into the whole lore of it all. This is how it normally works, though. There's one main guy. He has a big megaphone, okay? He's the main preacher. He's the one going off on white people the loudest, right? Crack a devil hole, you a white devil. Just, you know, no notes from the chest, right? <laughs> just freestyling on white people. Very yes and against them, you know what I mean? It's another nigga, though. He has a smaller megaphone, okay? And he just does ad-libs in the background. <laughs> That's the funniest nigga ever. This so, Because main dude's going off. Small megaphone dude's just going, Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Tell him. <laughs> I'm with my girl. We're walking downtown on 6th Street, okay? Big megaphone dude sees us, all right? Big megaphone dude sees me and my girlfriend immediately starts yelling at us. Look at that brother over there walking with that white bitch. Get away from that white woman, my brother. You don't need to defend yourself. Get away from that white woman, my brother. Get away. Right? My girlfriend is Asian. I don't know what that's about. No idea what that's about. She's also one of those girls that doesn't understand. Don't argue with crazy niggas. Just keep walking. What's wrong with you? She's like, I'm not even white. Should I tell him? No. Keep walking. Don't argue with this crazy ass man. She's like, no, I read Brene Brown. I'm going to speak up. I'm like, oh, my God. So, so she goes, excuse me, um, I'm Vietnamese. He goes, I don't give a fuck. And then small megaphone guy goes, talk to that Chinese white bitch, my brother. I was like, that's what you get. You shouldn't have said nothing. Now I got to act like that's not funny. Why would you put me in this predicament like this? Uh, Shalom, Yasharala, peace be unto the nation of Israel. Modern modern day so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, Israelite foreigners. All right, scattered across the four corners of the earth, including in America, Babylon the Great, the main place for our captivity, and we are the most high Yahweh chosen people of the nation of Israel. So without further ado, as always, in ancient Hebrew, let me give all praises, glory, and infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who is the God of the living, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barach, what I should all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, who is our strength and our Redeemer, and our light and our salvation. In the same tongue, we'll utter Mashanah, 
Kabawadium, Lahasaquanium, Shalakadawarakab, meaning double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone on down, and Shalom, honor and salutations to Bayashad Awada, the house of David. See, so fellow servant, Malak Rayab, back at it again, with another epistle, through the spirit of prophecy, being a testimony of our Lord and Savior. Hamashiach and Havashai, who the master of the world, eagerly refers to Jesus Christ. And um, it's another, you know, another epistle, uh, you know, dealing with another end time prophecy of, um, you know, mocking reproach, okay? You know, uh, you know, us being persecuted as Yahushua prophesied, you know, in the book of St. John, I was believe St. John, the 17th chapter, all right? Um, you know, as he was, as, you know, um, you know, as he was persecuted for, you know, confounding the wicked, you know, with the, uh, the Holy Spirit of the Word, which he is in the, in the physical manifestation, you know, his holy disciples were to be persecuted in similar fashion, all right, to be made a, a spectacle, public uh, spectacle and reproach and a mockery, which is why these people, this is why there's a, an ongoing trend of mockery, of public mockery against his ministry, right, including by way of these comedians, okay, you know, whether it be well-known comedians um, or, or vice versa, okay? And so, you know, this lesson, the, the, the title of this lesson, you know, is really, you know, influenced by, you know, the remembrance of the death of, you know, a major uh, comedian, you know, in Hollywood by the name of Ricky Harris, who was known for, you know, little skits on Snoop Dogg's albums and so forth. And, um, you know, as, as you know, he was known for, uh, he actually had a clip that went viral with Mike Epps back in 2012, where he was mocking the Hebrew Israelites, okay, mocking the Akim on the highways and hedges pushing his gospel. Okay, and the Lord made a public example out of that guy. Right? Like I said, in Sirach 27 and 28. Okay, which I'm going to read that again. All right, it says uh, Sirach 27 and 28. Mocking reproach are from the proud, but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. So just like it says in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, I'm going to grab that real quick. All right, and because the Lord is the man of war. Okay, and you know, and, um, and he's, ancient of it, he's the ancient of our days, and you know, hence why here, in Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, it says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Okay? Because these people don't have faith in the Lord collectively. So if they do something wicked and don't receive their judgment instantly, and, um, you know, you know, good, you know, duration of time, you know, uh, takes place. All right? Um, you know, they're, they're further, you know, uplifted in, in, in pride. Okay? You know, to perceive... The false notion that you know just perhaps it won't get judged by the Lord, okay. And the further confirms that these people don't know the Lord, okay, and, and they don't respect Him, okay. Hence why they don't they don't respect Him because they people collectively have this false perception, Lord, that He's a happy-go-lucky power, you know, happy-go-lucky God, okay. You can just come before Him with all manners of madness and blasphemy, and He's just He's just supposed to forgive, you know, He's just supposed to forgive people for everything, man, and every offense that is committed under the sun, all right, which is. Uh, which is far from the case. We further confirm that these people are not blessed because they didn't read the scriptures. All right, we sent Revelation, the first chapter. That's why, you know, the Lord has a number of you mockers and scoffers, man, or right, including whoever the fuck this, uh, <clears throat> this random comedian was on that uh, Elder Manata Zakba did a, a lesson on <clears throat> Salakia. He was, he was clearly mocking this, man. Okay. Um, in which, you know, like the elders pointing out and like, you know, several... You know, you know, Jake's were pointing out on the, on the comment board that, uh, you know, the, the man wasn't funny. OK, and that's why he had to use us as like a prop, you know, to, to get some giggles and enough from these stupid ass, uh, you know, these silly lady women. All right. And he still wasn't funny. All right. So. Um, so once again, you know, that guy is still alive, you know, for the time being, you know, but his his. Uh, you know, his demise is inevitable, you know, for mocking at the word of the Lord, if, unless he repents. Okay, you know, in, you know, in the case of what happened to Ricky Harris, okay, who mocked the, the, the prophets back in 2012, okay, with, with Mike Epps, and the Lord put that guy to death. So I'm going to play this video. All right, the first uh, so-called comedian is Will Mills. <clears throat> Sorry, so I'm going to continue this video here. I'm going to brought the GMS Shamox platform. The black man is the true Hebrew and the true man of God. Now, read, nigga, read. Dinosaur counting start with one. One tattered teddy bear just for fun. Two big balloons tied to the bed. Three toy trucks painted blue, green, and red. Nickel, keep reading! Four balls that bounce. Five big letter blocks. And under the bed, six dirty socks. Power, up team power, read. 
It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder why I keep it going under. Hold it right there. It's like a jungle. The planet Earth is a jungle. That's right. Now, we are here in a concrete jungle. I see you looking at me, little yeah, Chinese. Look, man. Yeah. Come out at me. Yeah. Look at her. Look at her. You've been wearing this 2012. You still... All right, Okay, so you clearly see. Uh, well, that was that was Mike Epps and um, uh, uh, um, Ricky Harris, you know, and now Willie, and then shortly, well, about half a decade after that video went viral of mockery against the Hebrew Israelites back in 2012, the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai put Ricky Harris to death. Okay, um, in 2017, which I'm going to play this video. All right, to go ahead and friend to bring that out. Comedian, producer, and actor Ricky Harris has died at the age of 54. He's most well known for his role on Everyone Hates, Everybody Hates Chris and his contributions on Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube's albums. According to his manager, Cindy Ambers, Harris died Monday of a heart attack. In other news, Britney's comedian, right. producer, and actor Ricky Harris has died at the age of 54. You know, so it's not a coincidence, man. He's most so well known that, for his that role guy was put to death. Hates, everybody Hates Chris. Ricky, Ricky Harris was put to death not too long after he mocked uh, he mocked uh, the Aki, mocked us on the uh, highways and hedges, man. And mocked us for being in the highways and hedges. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and grab his next precept in the book of uh, Psalm chapter Psalm chapter 22 and we'll start at verse 4. And it reads, Our fathers trusted in thee they trusted and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. You know, like Jacob says in uh, Nehemiah the ninth chapter, you know, Judith the fifth chapter, and similar precepts. How the Lord Abba Yahweh, you know, has always been there for us, man. You know, in in, in um, you know, in, in in the trenches, in the midst of, uh, you know, shame, captivity, death, and destruction on behalf of our enemies, the adversaries of, of righteousness, being the heathen nations, the natural Gentiles. You know, He delivered us. You know, in uh, um, in 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 the midst of these uh, in these battles, until we kept transgressing the law, statutes, commandments, and kept, you know, uh, deliberately, you know, and blatantly uh, transgressing the law, statutes, commandments to the point to where he gave us over to these uh, to the midst of these 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 uh, these heathen nations, all right, to be sorely to be uh, 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 sorely destroyed in the midst of those ba those many battles against the heathen, man. Okay, and that's why we got dispersed across the four corners. Okay. Because of our, our, our uh, you know, perpetual transgression against the Lord, how about Shem and Shai? Okay. Um, so this is um, verse 6. But I'm a worm and no man, a reproach of men, and despise of the people. Verse 7. Here's the point. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot at, it's like it, they shoot out the lip. They shake their head saying, he trusted on the Lord, how about Shem and Shai, that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him. Seeing he delighted in him. All right, so this is how these people mock, you know. You know, just like um, the Nebuchadnezzar, you know, was mocking us. You know, these various heathen nations, you know, will mock us. Okay, to say, okay, well, you know, like Nebuchadnezzar, you know, you put, you know, you put the, the three holy children in the furnace. Okay. Um, so I believe it was Shedrach, Medrach, and Abig uh, uh, Abignego. Okay. I believe, that's, I believe that's how you pronounce the last brother's name. Um, Slaki, if not, but those are the three holy children. Um, you know, spoke about in the book of Daniel, in the book of uh, the prayer of Azaria, three holy children that uh, Nebuchadnezzar put in the furnace, man. All right, to mock them for their belief in Yahweh. And what, what did Abba Nari Yahweh do? Okay, he sent Yahweh Shai, okay, to deliver the Akim, the three holy children, uh, from the wrath of uh, the, the Assyrian king Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. You know, so the Lord Yahweh by Shemesh has always been there for us, man. You know, the, despite how severe, you know, the, the trials and tribulations were, okay, or the magnitude of of death that we were facing, he's always been there for us. Okay. And going back to the, the first Exodus when he delivered deliver us from the Egyptians and, and jacked them up along with Pharaoh, okay, through a through a, mir a miracle. Okay. You know, splitting the sea, you know, splitting a uh, splitting the Red Sea in half. Converting into a, a, a blood, okay. You know, so that was you know, so so he's always been performing great miracles to deliver our people, and how do our people, you know, collectively, you know, pay him back by transgressing the law, says commandments, okay, doing the, the complete opposite of what he commanded us to do, man. 
So you niggas that are mocking this, this truth, mocking of the Hebrew Israelite ministry, uh, the very two thirds that were complaining to return to Egypt, you know, shortly after Abu Nawi Yahweh delivered us from the hands of Pharaoh and, and the mother Egyptians, man. Okay? That's the same spirit that the majority of our people are in because everyone's being reincarnated to fulfill their lot. Okay? So this is Psalm 22 and 8. It says, He trusts on the Lord, Yahweh by Shemeshah, that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. Okay? You know, this is how these people mock us. But then when, 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 when the... When it's on the other side of the spectrum, and it's your turn to get mocked, you can't take the heat. Like uh, my forefather Elijah, when he mocked the prophets of Baal, you know, through a little contest, okay, if you will, like a little wager, okay, to see whoever, whoever, whoever's God responded, okay, um, you know, they 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 would have they would have the leverage in that little contest, man. So being that the prophets of Baal, you know, failed that contest because they were relying on a dumb idol. Over Abu Nawi Hawa, they all got slain, you know, or they all got put to death by being slain. This is exactly what's going to happen to you, you mockers and scoffers, man. Okay, because you're ultimately idolaters, whether you're worshiping yourselves, okay, all right, through, uh, through, through, your, through your pride, you know, through your vainglory, you know, the filthy lucas sake you're seeking through, uh, you know, the vain fame that Hollywood offers Jake, you know, offers people in general, okay? You know, and, I, and so and this is why Ricky Harris. You know, uh, ironically, being a comedian, Hollywood comedian was put to death for doing the same thing that 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 unknown whoever, you know, that that clown comedian that uh, El Manata Zagba did a lesson on, man. OK, so there's an ongoing trend of mockers and scoffers like this damn demon here, um, Hannibal Burris. Fair use. And so Hannibal Burris is in a red. He's in a red garment right there. Now, these comedians did a, a comedic take or, or, or a comedic stand, a, a comedic, um, you know, presentation, you know, uh, on Adult Swim uh, several years ago, you know, and they, they mocked us, the Hebrew Israelites, under the guise of Scientology, which obviously, by way of their attire, their mockery has nothing to do with Scientology. So you can clearly see them, you know, mocking us, you know, with their garment, you know, with their with their little garments and, you know, and, you know, uh, you know, you know, and, and, and um, you know, head wraps and, and uh, so forth. All right, so we're going to play this clip. That's, that's Hannibal Burris right there. Now, short now, not too long after, um, you know, he he did this skit, this little comedic uh, skit of mockery against us several years ago. He, this dude disappeared, man. I and mean, he's completely irrelevant in, in the uh, in the comedic world. So this is this is this, see this is a further uh, this is a further um, example of judgment that that, uh, that can that can occur on individuals who mock this this Hebrews like gospel, man, which so happens to be the true gospel of the Lord of that sound doctrine. Okay. You know, and this is why you people are coming up against us because you despise the Lord. Like it says in First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, Acts, the third chapter as well. Similar precepts, man. Okay, because this word is like a fire unto unto you people. You know that that are likened to wood. And this is your point. This is this is and so these these little skits that you do to mock us is a, is another way of rejecting the word. Okay. So um, we're going to grab this next precept in Zechariah chapter seven. And I'm going to start at verse 10. And it reads, And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. But they refused to hearken, and pulled away the shoulder, and stopped their ears, that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law, and the words which the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem and Shav hosts, has sent in his spirit by the former prophets, in which we are the former prophets reincarnated, as it says in Jeremiah the 28th chapter, and so forth. 
Okay, it says, therefore came a great wrath from the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemeshai of hosts. So this is why that judgment has ensued and, 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 uh, and has been bestowed upon, you know, a countless number of Israelites, including Ricky Harris. He really, you know, really uh, uh, Hannibal Barris as well, because the Lord, um, you know, really the Lord has, uh, you know, diminished that guy's shine in Hollywood. And that guy's not funny either, uh, Hannibal Barris. Now he his comedy more so caters to the Edomite audience, like uh, Childish Gambino, aka Donald Glover. You know that guy's not too funny, and um, you know so he made a he he made a, a very unwise move mocking the prophets of the you know the Hebrew Israelites, the Lord's chosen, and um, now he's unthought of, man, unspoken of, and irrelevant. Okay, as a further example, this is Zechariah seven. And uh, 11, but they refused to hearken and pull away the shoulder and stop their ears. They should not hear. I could Jake is stiff neck and haughty minded, man. Okay. Well, they act like this truth is a burden onto them. Why? Like your house has said in St. John, the third chapter. Okay. This, this gospel is a, a burden onto the wicked. Why? You know, because these, these people uh, love the darkness. That's why they despise the light. Okay. Because if this, this, the, the light of this gospel forces people to be held accountable. Okay. For their wicked lifestyles. Okay, so just by just because of the the, the way or, or the manner of Jake delivering his truth, you know, you know, um, you know, being influenced by you know the, the backgrounds that Jake comes from, you know, you know, and um, you know, and Jake's personality, you know, as a further result of that and so forth, uh, does negate the fact that what we speak is of the truth because these people are focusing on the messengers instead of the the message. Okay, and that's why they 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 uh, people have been known to always mock the messengers of the Lord. You know, pursuing the Second Chronicles thirty six chapter until that judgment comes, man. Like like what happened in, to Ricky Harris dying of a heart attack, and that's a excruciating way to die. And I've actually experienced heart palpitation before, and that's not a pleasant thing. So to die of a heart attack, I just can imagine how how lonely and helpless and vulnerable that 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 guy felt. You know, calling on you know call, you know begging the Lord to spare his life, called by calling the wrong the wrong names and getting mocked in the process. Okay, through silence and a remembrance of him mocking the the the, the Lord's people. All right, dressed in those little, uh, you know, replica, you know, Hebrews like garments, man. Until the Lord, you know, stop that guy's heart. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying that the omen of St. Luke 21, where it says, uh, men's heart shall fail them, man. Okay, you know, when they see these, you know, when they see, you know, their their society, their precious American society crumbling around them, okay, and, and uh, you know, modern day Babylon, Babylon the Great, okay, and when they see, you know, for whoever it just pertains to, seeing the ICBM missiles, okay. All right, the arrows that our forefathers prophesied about, and ultimately their hearts failing them for those who this pertains to when they see Yahweh Shai, man. Then they're going to know that they're done. Because, like, they, they, their entire lives are going to flash before them, man. And I think of all the wickedness and blasphemy they have committed against the Lord, Yahweh Shai, including mocking and scoffing and scorning against his prophets, man. Okay? So this is uh, Zechariah 7 and 12. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord, Yahweh, by Shai, of hosts, had sent in the spirit by the former prophets, therefore came a great wrath from the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemeshah of hosts. Therefore it has come to pass that as he cried, and they would not hear. So they cried, and I would not hear, said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. Okay? The Lord, Yahweh, by Shemeshah of hosts. So the Lord, Abba, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Okay? Okay? Um, you know, last he was only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who last he was. In that proper order. Okay, and, and, and we're going to be laughing at you people, okay, when we're being used as a battle axis, okay, to demolish you in, 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 uh, in these last days, okay? It says in the, uh, Ephesians 25 and uh, what's that, uh, Isaiah 40 and so forth, okay? So, this, so there, there's a penalty for, for mocking the, the Lord's men on the highways, uh, um, that, that stand on the highways and edges, man, fulfilling the will of this gospel, of the Lord's will, Okay? This is uh, 2 Kings 2 and 23, and it says, And he went up from thence into Bethel, talking about Elisha, the understudy of Elijah. And he went up from thence into Bethel, and as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him, and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. And he turned back and looked on them, and cursed them in the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemeshai. And there came forth two she bears out of the wood, and tear 40 and two children. And that's a terrible sight, man. You can imagine how excruciatingly painful that was being at their children. The Lord didn't give a shit, okay? Because he's not a respected person, like it says in Acts 10 chapter. 
Okay, so you can imagine one bear, you know, let alone one bear, but they had three bears, man. Three bears tearing these children to shreds, man. Okay, you can imagine how gruesome that sighting was, man. All kinds of limbs and teeth and uh, guts and blood everywhere, man. Okay, it is a terrible thing to fall within the hands of living power. Okay, this is uh, Proverbs 14 and uh, 2. And it reads, but he that walketh in his uprightness feared the Lord, Yahweh by Shem and Shai. But, that, but, but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. Okay, perverse is, is distortion. Okay, crooked paths in Isaiah 59 and 8. Okay, contrary to the righteous, the, 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 the righteous straight and narrow path to the Lord. Okay, which is through this gospel, you know, of the old paths. Okay, in which everything that was written aforetime was written for our learning, man. That through the patience and comfort of scriptures, we may have hope, pursuing Romans 15. But Jake, Jake has a false sense of hope in America, suffering under Stockholm Syndrome, okay? Being subjected under the oppression and affliction by this damn devil, Esau, Edom, okay, for generations upon uh, uh, centuries, to the point to where they, don't, they, they, they look at the main place of their captivity, America, Babylon, the Great, as the end-all, be-all, okay? Because of the false notion of... of um, Life that Esau's fed our people, man, through pleasing the flesh. And that's why people sell out to escape the, the curses, okay, including getting out of the hood, you know, and making it big and realizing that those efforts are in vain. You know, and they're going to realize that before, set, before it's all said and done when the house shy descends back into the realm to bring death upon the wicked, man. The natural and the unnatural Gentiles alike, okay? So, um, this is Proverbs 14 and 3. In the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride, but the lips of the, of the wise shall preserve them. Okay. So jump down to verse 9. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. All right. So we're standing out there, you know, um, rebuking the wickedness of Esau, Eden, past, present, and future, including slavery. Okay. Including buck breaking and men, women, and children. So what do you think we're out there looking funny, which we are? You know, we, we look foolish out there. Like it says, in, uh, I believe it's in Corinthians. Okay. The Lord has chosen the foolish thing to confound the wise. That is what's considered wise in this world, sensual and devilish wisdom, through the politics, the technology, the, the Moism, through the alphabet mafia aspect of Esau's New World Order agenda. Okay, feminism, which is ancient, Queen of Heaven, Simiramis worship. Okay, the, the, the pushing of the, 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 the complete contrary to dietary laws and so forth, okay, is of the crooked paths of, of the, 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 the sensual devilish wisdom of this world, man. Okay, that people have, uh, you know, perceived to be of, you know, uh, of, of uh, profitable information, man, profitable wisdom. Okay, when it's part of that covenant with death. Okay, and that's why they mock at us, man, because, because we are, we are a stumbling block to the wicked. Why? Because ultimately, our, our prime righteous, righteous example is that... Um, that stumbling block of offense, that, that chief cornerstone of this, the royal priesthood, the third temple, if you will. Okay? You see, and Jake has such a, a low self-esteem that they don't consider themselves the royal priesthood. That's why they mock. Okay? Because of Esau's indoctrination. All right? Ultimately, the Lord blinding them. So this is uh, Proverbs 14 and 18, and it reads, The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Because Jake... You know, Jake thinks that, you know, you know, you know, Jake thinks that everything is funny, man. It's all about folly and mirth and have a good time and playing around and, you know, being belligerent and clamorous and, and jumping around like monkeys and just acting like children, man. When there's a time and a place for everything. OK, that's why in Hosea 4 and 6 said my people destroy it for lack of knowledge. It says they rejected the Lord. How about Shemesha? He's He has rejected thy children. He, and so and he, he rejects our people. OK, um. You know, when they're in dire straits, like Ricky Harris. You see? Proverbs 14 and 20. The poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich hath many friends. See? And that's another contributing factor. That's why they, they don't adhere to the, to, the, to the sound doctrine that we push. Because we do not currently fulfill or fit the standard of this world of strength and beauty. But rather, um, you know, Esau does by way of his established um false standard of, of strength and beauty man okay through eating my supremacy that's why people we you know including jake be you know dying her hair blonde 
okay, putting in blue, green contacts, bleaching their skin like Sammy Sosa, Lil' Kim, uh, uh, Serena Williams, Andy Ari, and so forth. Because Jake has been co co uh, conditioned to hate themselves, man. That's why a lot of, that's why uh, when Mike Epps and uh, Ricky Harris is mocking, uh, nigga women was laughing in the background. You see that? And they're, because they're, they're, they're the, 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 the main ones that, you know, are, um, are guilty of all those things I previously mentioned, of altering their appearance to emulate the oppressor. Because they envy the oppressor, and we're commanded not to do that in Proverbs 3. And it really is a, a, another, you know, faithless, you know, another exhibition of a lack of faith. Okay? That's going to cause Jacob to be put to death. This is Proverbs 14 and 21. He that despises his neighbor sinneth. But he that has mercy on the poor, happy is he. Okay? So we are the neighbors of our people, but they don't look at it that way because one of the curses. Proverbs 14 and 22. Do they not err that devise evil? But mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. And, these, and, and Jake, you know, these Jakes that scoff and mock, scoff and scorn. Okay? Whether, uh, you know, unbeknownst to them or not, are really... Casting evil upon us, man. They're they're directing evil towards us, rather. There's gonna be a penalty for that, you know. Like it says in uh, the book of Proverbs, you know, I believe it's Proverbs the twenty-seven chapter. Okay, you know how death is going to visit the wicked, man. Okay, so Adam wrote this out as um, this epistle is for edifying, exhorting. You know, it went a little longer than expected, but I saw the spirit. You know, and um, you know Adam wrote this out as this is this epistle for edifying, exhorting to your leg. We give all praise, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who was the God of the living, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barach, Rosh, who blessed with his truth and the spirit, do another epistle. All right, with that, Mawath, Lababa, Shalom to the elect, and on to the next one.